Well, firstly, welcome to this opportunity to breathe. Sometimes when you want to hear the music, you have to get above the noise, and then you discover that the noise actually is quite harmonious. So here, above the city, we get a chance to think a little bit better. But the real reason to come here is so that you can meet the lady in the mountain, the mother in the mountain. So I'm going to try and sketch her out for you so that it's clear. We, kn we know it as, as Devil's Peak, but if you trace the contours of Devil's Peak from the bottom of the mountain, it's like you're following the course of her hair up. And then that first bump is her head. She's lying down and she's looking directly up into the sky. And then it goes down into her neck and straight back up into her breast. She's got a very ample sized breast. And then rolls back down along the contour of her body and up to the ledge of the table of the mountain where you can see her baby. We'll get to the baby, but for the moment the mother is really important. She's lying down on her back and she's looking up into the sky. And I hope that you can see that contour there. And the reason, the importance for showing you the woman in the mountain is because we as people who live in the city, we look at this mountain all the time, every day, several times a day. But we don't see the lady in the mountain. And sometimes it just takes somebody else to point out and give you a perspective and suddenly this lady becomes so visible that every time you look at the mountain, you're never going to miss her. And it's an interesting metaphor for the city of Cape Town. Because from a business point of view, all the resources that we need actually exist in the city. But because we're still largely locked into apartheid town planning, it's very difficult for us to see the resources across the boundaries that have been created for us. And the more that we interact across these boundaries, the more that we start to see the resources and the opportunities that are available to us, and the more we're able to actually act on them. So I look at this lady in the mountain every single day, and firstly, I thank Jethro, the ghetto poet, for showing me. And secondly, I think, hey, whatever I need, if I have a challenge today, it's probably around the corner from me. But I just have to speak to the right people and look at my city in different ways. So that's why we have to start up here at the foot of Lion's Head. 